Good morning, my friends. I am wondering this morning what you are finding in your mindfulness practice. And if you might be wondering, how do I bring mindfulness into my daily life? And even why would I want to do that? Over the next several meditations, we'll be talking about not only the why of mindfulness, but some of the practices and prompts actions and ways of experiencing that occur in daily life or that we can bring to it. Today we'll be talking about practice, which I hope might give you some answers to why do we do this anyway. In a life that is often built on multitasking, we keep one eye on one thing and the other eye on something else, and often miss the most important thing about the one that is getting less attention. And suddenly, while you're driving the car, you are startled to see that another car has just cut you off and is now speeding past you, and you didn't even see it coming. Some kind of grace kept you safe, because you certainly missed it. I know I have been there. Have you? We could find many examples of doing two things or three things at once. This might be called mindlessness, not mindfulness. Our minds are fractured. Mindfulness is the practice of purposely focusing your attention on one thing in the present moment and accepting that moment without judgment and noticing as your thoughts shift away from what preoccupies you or from your routine habits in which you engage without a thought. So mindfulness works by rewiring the brain, literally. Mindfulness improves our concentration and well-being, body, mind, and spirit. Why? Because we become able to stay in the present moment, to be with it as it changes, to be with it as it's painful, and not to miss the experience of our life. The need to control, the attachment to a certain outcome, or the desire to run away from a painful experience as quickly as possible, can all become unnecessary as we practice staying in the present moment with whatever arises without judgment. This is the fundamental practice of mindfulness. We learn to accept and allow our experiences rather than react to them with aversion or avoidance. There is great freedom in each present moment. Whether we're aware of it or not, we're practicing all the time And when we operate out of habitual patterns and lose our freedom for a new experience. So let us sit together today. Find your comfortable position and be aware of this present moment. We will practice being aware without trying to change anything of which we're aware and welcome the distractions of our minds as a way to practice. So settle into your chair. Experience the support against your back and under your butt and under your feet and under that place where your arms and your hands are resting. In each one of those places, experience the pressure against your skin and your nerves. Notice how the intensity of that pressure is different in those four different places. Notice. And now scan your body and notice any place that you experience an itch. There's always an itch somewhere if you look for it. 
Allow your awareness to focus on that sensation. Notice the tingling, the intensity, and be aware of watching it as it begins to rise and call you to scratch. Stay neutral. Allow that experience to peak and come down the other side. This is mindfully staying right in the present with what is, but not reacting to it. And in that precious holy space, we become able to see that everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end if we just pay attention. Return your focus to your breathing. And as you breathe, we'll focus on mindfulness of our senses beyond itching. Bring your awareness to your ears and notice the sounds that you hear right now. Even if it's the sound of silence itself, notice how that sound feels. Quietness often feels like an ever so subtly moving air around you. Notice sounds outside and inside. And with each sound that you notice, give it a name. I notice silence. I notice the sound of a vehicle going by. I notice the sound of my own breathing. And now move your awareness to noticing your emotions in this very moment. What are they? Is your mind running off to someplace else and you're irritated by that? Are you judging the sound of my voice as either good or bad, wanted or unwanted right now? And what thought or feeling does that awareness bring up in you? If your mind is running off, just notice how it does that. What thoughts does it grab onto? What desires? In noticing emotions, we practice a steady and simple naming of those emotions. Anger, frustration, boredom, joy. And we name them. This is a part of noticing without becoming attached or averse to what we notice. Notice in your senses, in your thoughts, in your feelings, and give that awareness a name as you let it go. We'll be continuing to practice the deepening of mindfulness, expanding it, and providing you with some ideas for using your daily experience to practice. The opportunities are absolutely endless. They are contained in any experience where your mind goes in two directions at once. Tell me how often that happens in the course of any given day and how often doing that might be unnecessary enough to actually practice with it. Notice your breathing. Take a full breath. Notice the movement and release it as you allow your eyes to open. Take it with you. Namaste. Amen.